In video 1, we're going to discuss the file part of the menu bar. When you first start ArtRage 3 Studio Pro, you'll get this auto check for updates. And you can check. And I've got 3.04 Studio Pro, which is the latest. So I can click OK. Now this is the menu bar and you can collapse the panel by just clicking here on the grip. Click here and it opens. When you collapse it and click and hold, you'll get it this way, which is pretty cool. But I happen to like it open. And if I right click on the grip, I can tear it off its edge. I can also take it off the window and on to my second monitor and bring it back. Now I can also right click and scale it down to 50%, 75%, 100, 150, or 200. Or I can even jauntify it, which means it'll be a surprise. So I can right click here and stick it to the default edge and it'll stay there. Now when we go into the menu bar, when you open File, if you go into New Painting, this will come up. Now the size, you can change it from screen size to print size. Here is the little menu. You can reset size to default. You can open your user size presets folder, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. You can add a new size preset. You can use one of these already done. For instance, I can use the 1024 by 768, or I can use my particular window size. Now right here is the number of pixels per inch. 72 is good for web, but if you're doing a painting for print or that, it should be anywhere from 150 to 300. I normally make mine 300 but I have a good processor and quite a bit of RAM. Now another thing you might want to do is look down here at this one. You can open all of these from here, but if you click on this, you can open them. Now you're going to have your art papers, your canvas, your paper, whether you want it rough, special, fine, and then you can even make your own. For instance, if you wanted to add a group, you would click this, and you would say something like, me too, and click OK. And it's added. Now if you want to go and, and you've made a mistake, then you can click on this, go into the user canvas preset and you can see I have me and me too. Well let's say I want to get rid of it so I would highlight it and then just delete the folder and then it would ask me if I want to send it to the recycle bin I'm going to say yes and it will get rid of it. Now the only thing is it won't get rid of it here until you close out and then come back in. So let's go to showing you how to add a new preset. Well, let's say we go into Canvas. And we decide we like the basic Canvas, but maybe we want to add more roughness to it. A little bit more of a grain size. This will change accordingly. Then we can go into here and choose a canvas grain. Let's choose this coarse canvas and click OK. And then maybe we want to just bring it back a touch to that. So we have what we, what we like. And then when we have it all done, we can go down into our group that we just made, click New, and we can give this one a new name like really rough 
and click Save. Then click OK. This, of course, is the tracing, and you can load a tracing, but we're not going to. And click OK. And now you see the grain I made that was really rough. Pretty awesome, huh? The way you can change and make whatever you want. Now if we go into File, Open a Painting, it's going to bring up this and you can go find your painting that you've made. And it'll come in. I'm going to go back and do a new painting. And go into Canvas. And just click the basic Canvas and click OK. Let's choose the 1024 and click OK. Now I'm going to make this go down. Now the neat thing that this still has is if you have a color that you want for your background, you can still press Alt on your window, not your canvas, and it'll change the color. I want it a little darker, so I'll do Alt. That's a little too dark. So now let's go into File. You can save a painting, save painting as, export an image file. You can import an image file, and you can import an image file to the layer, and that's quite handy. Your recent files will be here. You can print a painting and you can quit the application. What we're going to do in the next video is go into the edit part of the menu.